is the name of VPS King's podcast. Eight, seven, six, how do you, like in the nest? Like how does that work? Wouldn't it be on the nest? I, but I couldn't tell you. But with a match underway, coming out for these boosts and getting it first is Guinness knocking it down to the end of Chaos. Chaos not not able to connect on it into the hands of Dano. Dano being stolen by Leo and for that open three attempt that misses it is wide. Yeah, nice look here from both teams so far. A lot of turnovers as Dano grabs that one, sends it out to the right trap area, trying to get it in the tube, doesn't quite connect on it. Uh, the Cakes picks that one up. Again, trying to send it in the tube, so now it's back into the hands of uh, Guinness here, the Green Pigeon, sending that one up, and will be collected by Leo the Great. So Leo under pressure, stolen by Farafo, and the subsequent clear through the tube. Picked off. Yeah, Mojolly sending that one down deep into that blue bubble. Maybe look for a long pass. It's picked up by that green pigeon. And oh, as he's getting stunned out, he's able to dunk that one in. Uh, it's registering as one meter out, but we'll call that a dunk. Uh, what a great stun. What a great stop attempt there from Chaos. But yeah, that green pigeon able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, put that one through. A lot of clear and boosting. Everyone trying to get to that disc and able to get it this time is green pigeon underneath the goal. So, okay, so yeah, up to Dano McFabulous. Dano sending it up to the ceiling there, uh, looking for Farafo. It doesn't quite connect on the current. The hurry does pick it up, gets stunned out, and now it is Cakester with the disc going to that far side pass. Doesn't connect with anybody, so it is picked up by that green pigeon. Sends it right back down. Stack is ready to go, uh, but falls apart a little bit. And there will be a slow race for this disc. Orange picks up the disc. Four and with the slap out to mid. These teams are all chasing this disc. They're clustering in the mid, trying to get possession. It is definitely a physical match being played out. Yeah, a lot of stuns going off. A lot of, uh, I and mean, that's what's contributing to a lot of these turnovers. Again, right there, Majali on Farafo. Majali is able to come away with the disc, but Farafo, she gets stunned out. Uh, I didn't quite catch who that was that stunned her out, but she gets stunned out right after she grabs this Curry with it. Uh, we'll probably see Curry get stunned out here any moment. Now, Dano. Uh, Dano trying to send that one down through mid. He does get it through mid, but right into the hands of Mojolly. He was just waiting for that one. And uh, so now Mojolly uh, looking for over our options. Let's go for that four pass to White Fox. White Fox moving on on the bubble. We know he can be dangerous with the juke. And moving in on the goalie there. White Fox for two. Able to slip past those Chaos defenders and get that shot. They pull ahead by four. This is very strong showing from Guinness. Looking to take this victory and have a Good night to end it on. Two, yeah, what a what a goal there it's by White Fox. Orange take his team up by four here himself. now. Uh, just three minutes into this game. So we'll be taking my Dano. Dano with the back pass to Cakester. Cakester going to the bubble pass uh, to back to Curry in the hurry. But Curry getting stunned out there by Leo the Great after finally getting wrangling that disc in. That pass off to White Fox is good. White Fox sending it down. Maybe look for that boot shot. Uh, doesn't connect on a Curry now with it. Loses it. And the steal from Farafo. Farafo trying to get that clear and it bounces wide. Steal. It's headed back downfield. So now Cakes are sending that one. I believe that was Cakes are sending that one down. It will be collected now by Dano. Dano with a good look on goal and he does get it in right as he gets stunned out. Moving in on the defender and the goalie. Good for two. 12, 11, Able to get into 10, the play and transi nine, that transition. Eight, seven, a great six, showing from Dano. Five, So now it will be uh, Guinness with the disc. Mojali going to right to quick pass to Leo the Great. Leo the Great going for the far pass to the near side wall there. Uh, I believe that was the White Fox, but doesn't connect on it. So now picked up by Curry in a hurry. Curry in a hurry, giving his team some time uh, to open up some space here. There's that bounce pass attempt. Leo the Great does intercept it. Oh, man, what a shot by Leo as Farafo tries to get back to goal. Stop that one from going in, but can't quite get there. And uh, does take his team up now 7-2. to two. All right, and it is Chaos with the disc, Curry in the hurry, going up to Cakester there. Cakester sending Orange it down it through the mid. Uh, does connect with Dano. Dano going up to Farafo. Farafo 
uh, does get a stolen, and it is in now into the hands of Mojolly. Mojolly going to that right two pass to White Fox, and White Fox moving in, sending it, looking at an empty goal. Is he going to connect? No, not quite. Bounces off wide, and he will pick up his own rebound, but not before he gets stunned out. Now in the hands of Curry in a hurry, he sends it down to Cakester. Sends it back the other way. Blue with the disc. So dump in is uh, taken by Mojolly. Mojolly, good send out to that green pigeon. He tries to dump it further, but it bounced off the station block. Picked up by, uh, I think that might have been Cakes, or sends it back down into the Guinness end, but then slapped out of the Guinness end back into the Chaos end. Now all the way into the Chaos bubble. Good stun there from Cakester on Leo the Great, so Cakester can get to that disc first and send it all the way back down into the Guinness zone. Guinness trying to get these victories, trying to come out in the silver division by the end of this. And I think they have a good chance of doing it. They just need these victories. And they need to get into the higher brackets by getting victories on these better teams. So it will be another short race here for the disc. Picked up by Curry in a hurry, just out of his bubble. Sends it down. Uh, look at that pass into that two barrier. It doesn't connect on it, so Leo Great will pick it up. Send it back pass. So I believe that's going to be Mojolly. Mojolly doesn't quite connect on it, so there will be a stack to attack. And they do get the stun. They are looking at it for off and moving in on empty net. Does put it in for two to keep his team in it. Now down only by three. Great showing from Chaos. Able to get that play within the bubble of Guinness and get that score. Yeah, that was well executed there uh, by Chaos to, to stun off Mojolly, who uh, mismanaged that disc a little bit. Uh, so well done there by Chaos to get those points. And now White Fox with a quick feed. Oh, my goodness. And for three, White Fox with a great shot there uh, on a, a floating goalie and uh, now bringing his team up by six with three minutes to go in round one. Seven, six, five. So do you think that they have a chance to break into the Silver Division by the end of this season? By the end of this series, uh, I'll have to look and see. Let me look. I'm going to look. I'm going I'm to look on that. I don't think they'll be able to do it by the end of this series, but by the end of the season, I think they have a good chance. By the end of, oh, by the end of the season. Uh, yeah, I think they have a very good chance of uh, they keep doing what they're doing, uh, especially if they continue to improve as, uh, as they have. Uh, I'm very excited to see uh, Guinness move up the ranks, and uh, I, I believe they're definitely team capable of doing it. And uh, for, oh my goodness, yeah, and even Moj, even Mojoli responds to that one. Dynamic, fabulous, off of the ceiling, bouncing that one in for a solid three there. And teams yeah. like Guinness, teams like Orbit, these, those are the teams we want to watch. They definitely do a great job at maintaining team chemistry, maintaining that forward momentum. And these are the teams that are going to pull off upsets and continue to pull off upsets for the rest of the season. Yeah, Guinness doing a really good job in this game, doing really good controlling the disc, uh, really good bubble defense, uh, really good at stuffing the lanes. And uh, yeah, just cleaning up the pass game a little bit, I think will take it, you know, uh, uh, this would be a very, very different game, though, uh, uh, excuse me, Chaos now with a good look on goal, but uh, back pass goes a little errant, and now it is a slow race to pick that one up, uh, and that green pigeon will just send it down into the orange bubble. Orange catches the enemy Looking like they were going for one pass too many on that last possession, Chaos throwing it out of the bubble, not able to capitalize on that, but trying to get that shot and getting the stun out is the defense of Guinness. Couldn't have been done at a sooner time. And what a send out that was. And uh, that that there is that speed. Oh my goodness, White Fox able to pick that one up. The speed of Guinness there. Uh, I mean, uh, Chaos right on their tails, but you know, just that, that a tenth of a second, a fifth of a second, or uh, excuse me, a twentieth of a second to go smaller uh, is all the difference there. So that speed of uh, Guinness there definitely came Guinness quick to play in transition, and that transition play is what really defines these teams as they move up through the ranks. The ability to just quickly adapt to what's happening on the court and make the right moves. Oh, and it looked like uh, Guinness right there was trying to pull out the, uh, you know, there's that, uh, that, that famous, infamous Joker chain 
uh, where they have the one guy start ducking, the other guy kind of spin around with the disc. Well, they were trying to do it with three people there. Uh, and as you saw, it just got glitched all out. And now White Fox moving in on the bubble and uh, is able to put that one in. Good juice from White Fox there uh, to now take him up 15 to 7. Uh, and that will be the end of round one. With the victory going to Guinness, what, what's the name for that? Seven, six, that caterpillar, five, that wacky four, chain, that Team Joker did everyone the uh, the, the deed of co Losing creating and, and popularizing in the league. I wish I knew the name of it. I don't know if it has a proper name. I know my team's just, you know, kind of started calling it the Joker Train. Uh, a very fitting name. Uh, for for it, uh, but I, I don't I don't I wouldn't call it a good name. It's just kind of what we started calling it. Uh, so I'd be curious to see what if Joker has a name for it, or if anyone else uh, has has come up uh, with a name for it because it's definitely uh, definitely got its uses. It definitely has some effect uh, when it's deployed, particularly the way they've been deploying it lately. Is uh, instead of kind of running from uh, like mid offensive zone, they'll, they'll wait until they're right at the bubble and they'll just they'll just link up and start doing it and. When it when it comes at you that fast, it's so hard to counter it. And uh, so yeah, I'd love I'd love to hear uh, if there is a name uh, out there for that. I think we called it the Pain Train for a little bit. I think that was the best name for it. The pain Train, <laughs> very descriptive. I like it. It was definitely a pain for everybody that had to face it. As you you just try and challenge it, you throw all these punches, they miss. And it's a it's hell for everyone playing. It can be a lot to deal with, and uh, I know I've seen teams experimenting with, you know, instead of just two, going with three, like we saw there. And I had heard that it got glitchy, but that's the first time I saw it. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, so it was uh, very interesting to see them attempt to deploy that. Yeah, if you're playing with high-latency players that don't have similar pings, it will definitely glitch out, which could be, for like, to your favor, but in that case, it definitely wasn't. Well, I'm gonna say if it's uh, if it's something where you're, you're seeing people teleporting, uh, like we saw over in the traps area when they tempted it here, I, I, I would say it's very likely that uh, that would be the sort of move that the mods might take a look at if it starts seeing some more regular deployment here. Yeah, I was just watching White Fox and his arm was slowing down, so maybe it was the high late player that disrupted it. Very possible. I've definitely seen a little bit that here in that game, uh, here in this game, uh, particularly White Fox. Definitely seen some. Um, almost look like he's moving in frames uh, from my screen here. Uh, but I know when you're in the game, uh, I tend not to see that so much. Uh, it's typically, only something I see a whole lot on spec on the spec cam. Yeah, it definitely does translate differently on the spec cam versus in game. But you're also so focused on the action, sometimes you're not paying attention. This all day yeah, is very true, very true. So White Fox with Ooh. another pass to the wall, getting it to Leo, trying to pull this defense from Chaos out of position. And Leo the Great with the feed down there uh, to that green pigeon, doesn't quite connect on it. And, ooh, White Fox with the pick. Oh, the stun there from Cakester on White Fox to stop White Fox from taking that shot. And now uh, just kind of trying to get the disc out of the area is chaos here. Coming with it in the tube, but sending the clear down into the goalie's hands of Guinness. And Mo Jolly with that clear and pass through mid. Picked up by Leo the Great, but but Dana McFabulous takes it from him very quickly with a White Fox uh, shouting something as he stuns out Dano. Uh, and then that feed up to uh, Leo the Great, unfortunate, uh, misses the goal there. Uh, so it will bounce out all the way to mid. Mojolly trying to wrangle that one in. She does, uh, but not before Farafa was able to headbutt it out of her hands. So now picked up by Farafa. He sends that one down uh, all the way into the blue bubble, going very dangerously close to goal. And it will be uh, maybe a race. That's a goalie. Chaos is definitely picking up their pace. They're playing much faster than they were the last game. They, and that's what they need. They need this to get the advantage as they recover it in their bubble and clear it out. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, do keep calm. We are being raided by Echo Arena VRML2. So it does appear that that other game has concluded. And uh, we are now being joined in the chat by Palador and the few viewers he has brought over from there as Farafo with the feed from Cakester. 
uh, brings that one in behind the goal there, and just kind of sets it in. Uh, what a beautiful feed there from Kickstarter for Rafa. Taking the lead in the second round, they need this second round victory to force the third round and have a chance at this series. Definitely fast play that's been paying off. So late toast asking uh, what was the score of the first round? The score of the first round was 15 to 7 in favor of Guinness. So now fight White Fox with the disc. That is under pressure from Dano. Dano able to get the steal there. Maybe uh, a little of that latency uh, we were talking about playing a bit of a role there uh, for Dano as he was able to get that pretty uh, maybe from a foot away. But I don't know if it was his ping. Uh, just pointing it out that it is at play here in this game. Farafa with a cross pass there to Cakester. Cakester looking over his options, taking some time here. Some jukes on the floor. Uh, look at that pass. Dano doesn't quite connect, but Dano does pick it up under pressure. Oh, no. Uh, trying to send it back, but it bounces off that shoulder block and sent quickly out by Guinness. Chaos needing that momentum when they had the advantage at Bubble, but they took too long allowing all the players on Guinness to get set up in defense. So now Guinness with the disc, uh, Leo the Great trying to break into the bubble there, but gets stunned out, and Dano sending that one down after collecting that disc from that turnover. And ooh, the quick chain trying to get there, but they can't quite corral it as they get. They overshoot a little bit, but now picked up by Kegster, and as he gets stunned out, he hooks that one in with no angle from his vision. Uh, it's a beautiful shot there by Kegster to now bring Chaos up by four in round two, halfway through this round two. Chaos playing like a different team this round. They definitely did something right. And they've got a four-point lead. Let's see if they can hold on to it for the rest of the series. The round has begun. And now will be Mo Jolly with the disc. Moving through mid. Pass off to the right tube there to Leo the Great. Leo the Great moving through. Going to walk it. He has the space. He has the time. And now being pressured. Going for the back pass to Mo Jolly. Mo Jolly moving in under pressure from Dana. And deep pass up to White Fox. White Fox moving in. And, oh, dings it off of that post. And it will be a little bit of a race. But now collected by Mo Jolly. But Mo Jolly stunned up by Dana. Dana able to collect that one in and send it back down into the Guinness zone. And these boosts come out under pressure, but able to get in Ooh. front of him and take that save. It's Leo the Great making a great move. And what a grab there by Leo. Just you know, presses in on those uh, those grip buttons and throws the hands out, uh, waiting for that shot. And he does get the grab. So now White Fox with it. Uh, trying to pull an angel. Does successfully, almost, you know, I'd say half successfully pulls it off. Uh, but gives Dano enough time to get to him. Stun him out. Send it right back down. They, they do have the chain ready, but Mojolly is also ready uh, to pick up that clear. Sending it right back down. So will be Leo the Pigeon off that right shoulder. Moving in on goal. And, oh, goal he doesn't get stunned out, but does get distracted enough for that green Pigeon. To put that at one end from the feed for Mojolly. Beautiful play. White Fox sitting in the goal of Chaos, looking like he was the goalie, and the goalie of Chaos opting to go for the punch and flying right out of the goal. And that was a beautiful little setup there by Guinness to get that goal, now only down by two. It will be taken by that green pigeon, but not before he gets stunned out and taken by Dano. Dano opting for the back pass, the reset to Curry in a hurry. Curry sending it up, uh, but maybe the stun affecting the trajectory of that throw, but Dan was able to pick that one up, sending it down to nobody, so it will be picked up by that green pigeon. He sends it right back out into the chaos zone. So with these boosts receiving it, it is Dano. Dano able to dodge that offender from Guinness and getting that clear through mid as they scramble for possession. Mojolly looking for the pass to White Fox. Doesn't connect on it, but it will come back out. A uh, bit of a fight for it, but it is back into the hands of Curry. Curry setting it down, uh, looking for the clear, but the bounce is keeping it in the chaos zone as there is a, a bit of a scrum for it. White Fox, ooh, almost with the backboard shot, but hitting that cone, sends it back down to the floor. Farafo collects that one, sends it back into the Guinness zone. Nobody there to collect it just yet. Dana with possession. He has Farafo ahead. Sending it back to that midline, but not able to get it off the floor as he scrambles to get it from the ceiling. It's open season. Blue clears it out. So White Fox with a big uh, turnover there, sending it back down into the chaos zone. It's collected by Mojolly. Mojolly looking at an open net, uh, takes a shot, but doesn't connect on it. But then White Fox, oh, excuse me, Leo the Great picks up that rebound, sending it off of the backboard with the defender on and a goalie in goal. And he's able to tie this one up now with only two minutes and 12 seconds to go. Able to quickly respond to that four-point deficit is Guinness. Guinness not wanting to give up this 
game, wanting to take the series with 2-0 outright. That pass up to Farafa. Farafa sending it down to Dano. Dano getting stunned out. What a good defensive job there by Guinness to shut that one down before anything is able to happen. But Farafa able to collect that one back. Big pass up to Cakester. Oh, what a save there by that Green Pigeon to stop that goal from going in. But Curry in the hurry does recollect that disc, looking over his options, trying to make some space. And ooh, oh, uh, big stop there by White Fox. And then Mojolly is able to clean up the trash there, send it out back to that right trap area and we will have a fight for it here it's white fox excuse me pass up to farafo Ooh, soft pass to dano dano coming up oh what a shot from dano to take his team up by two as he comes in from underneath the goal dano being surprised by that guinness defender and looking surprised as the guinness defender sailed past him and getting that underhand shot for the two so it will be one minute to go here, a two-point game. Uh, Chaos up by two. If Chaos wins this, we will go to a game three. So that will be, uh, so Mojolly pass over to White Fox on the left two. Back pass to Mojolly. Mojolly sending it up to the floor to Leo the Great. Leo the Great cross pass to White Fox. White Fox moving in on the bubble. Oh, my goodness, what a shot there. But Curry in a hurry with the big save. But White Fox able to steal it right back. Three men in goal sends it up. Oh, my goodness. And all three of the goalies come out at the same time. From that pass up to that green pigeon from White Fox, and Pigeon is able to put it in to tie it up with only 30 seconds to go. Definitely looks like a communication breakdown, and their nerves got the best of them as they all challenged that one player from Guinness. So with 16 seconds to go, it is all tied up. We're looking for a dribble here. Cakes are, or maybe not. Cakes are down to Dano. Dano going up to uh, Farafa. Doesn't connect on it. And it is in that blue bubble collected now by Leo the Great. Leo sending it to Mojolly and Gold. Mojolly just going to send that one out. And we are going to go to overtime in this in this round two. Good plays from Chaos. I mean, this is anyone's series. It, I mean, it's still heavily favoring Guinness. But if Chaos can pull this off, I want to see that. I want to see this third round. I want to see a great finish to the night. And so uh, both teams looking to, to win this joust here as we come out. And as they come out, who's going to get it? It will be in the hands of Guinness. Leo the Great here moving in, walking in, has time, has space. Chain challenging him, Dano on him. But with a couple light jukes, Leo looking for the pass. Look at that cross pass to uh, White Fox. Doesn't connect on it. But it is still in the zone. So Leo the Great going to get there first. Just slaps it back. And uh, back into the hands of Curry in a hurry. So Curry going to send this one out deep. And it will bounce in a way that keeps it in the chaos zone here as it is picked up by Dana. Dana sending it out uh, to Cakester. Cakester trying to move it in. He gets stunned out, but not before he's able to dump it. So Mo Jolly already at the back line, already in the bubble of this Guinness team. And Guinness with the clear... Chaos needs to get a good clear through the tubes, and they need to properly respond to it with fast stacks. The Curry going to walk it, does uh, lob a soft pass up to Dano. Dano now able to pick it up, but now Leo the Great, there's nobody up in front. Leo takes the shot off the backward. Oh, what a ding! And it is picked up by Cakes before the rebound has another opportunity to go in. And with a deep throw there, uh, green, that Green Pigeon able to pick that one up. So Pigeon sending it to the floor there to White Fox. White Fox backing out, trying to pull these defenders away from the bubble, trying to look over his pass options. Sends it up to the ceiling to uh, nobody, maybe assuming uh, Mojolly was there, uh, but doesn't connect on it. And it is sent down into that mid area. Mojolly will be there to pick it up. Mojolly sending it right back down and it's picked up again by Cakester with only 30 seconds to go in this overtime. Chaos needs to make something happen now. They need to take advantage of this clear that they got through. But in the back line is Mojolly getting the clear back to the end of Chaos. I know White Fox almost had an opportunity there, but it looks like his hands glitched out. He's going to bring it in. One on one with the goalie. He takes a shot. Oh, what a save there by Curry in the hurry to keep his team in it. And uh, we will go to a second overtime here in this round two between these teams. A great second match. A great second game. Get to your launchers. Chaos staying in it. They definitely did not have the offense for the first overtime. Let's see if they can change it up. Get on the offensive for the second overtime. Take away this second game, forcing the third round. 
now over time two here between these two teams who's going to get the and it will go to chaos chaos sending it down but it's picked up quickly here by that green pigeon pigeon sending it back down looking for white fox there waiting for it in the chaos zone but it's picked up by cakes or cakes are sending it down into the blue bubble who's going to be their first big stun out there gano moving in on goal and he does get the goal there and we will be going to a game three between these two teams here Chaos needed that. We have a third game on our hands. And seeing this change in Chaos from the first round to the second round is not only refreshing, but it's so exciting to watch. And I'm hoping for an upset in this third round. Like I said, it was anyone's game. They were they were down. They weren't out. They came back. And I can't wait for the for the end of this. It's it's gonna be exciting. Exciting it will be, especially if we get uh, games that look like uh, the ones we just saw there. Uh, not often you see double OT in comp, and we just saw it there. And uh, what an overtime it was finally going to uh, chaos there in the round two. Uh, so round one go, does go to round one going to Guinness 15 to 7, but then chaos uh, officially 8 to 6 after double overtime. Uh, and yeah, just absolutely. Phenomenal there, uh, Palador with uh, the highlighted comment, dude, clutch. Uh, the Danimal, also known as Shepard, what a save. Uh, Palador uh, uh, continuing on the focus after not being able to get that initial grab. Uh, wow, yeah, good call in. there. Uh, yeah, a lot of people expressing their nervousness through those uh, overtimes there as well. And uh, yeah, really uh, real fun to see as we start now in game three. So with round three about to start, to anyone's game. And it is uh, initially won by Chaos, but then picked up by White Fox. White Fox uh, making some funny noises as, as that uh, that pass attempt kind of goes a little errant. Uh, Curry in the hurry, sending that one down right into the hands of Leo the Great. Leo the Great, oh, what, a, what an angel move there from Leo on the defender, but then he stunned out. Uh, by, I believe that was Cakes there, and now picked up by Farafa. Farafa sending it back to the goalie reset to Curry. And oh no, what a turnover! Uh, but Curry able to stun out both attackers there. Uh, probably getting to this one first, but not before he's under pressure. And uh, oh my goodness, another stun sending it back into the bubble, alley, bubble area there for the back pass. Cakes are able to finally ring that one in, sending it down into that trap area and still in the chaos zone as Dano takes it and sends it finally down into Guinness zone. Chaos needs to catch their breath. They need to make these plays. And they need to make them correctly. They're just throwing this disc. And it worked for them in the second round. But in this third round, they need to be more calm and more collected. As Curry in a hurry to receive it in the backfield. Sending it right through the mid. Able to avoid that mid defender from Guinness. Good stun there from Mojolly to, to be able to clear that one back out. But it's right back into the hands of Curry. Excuse me, Curry sending it down to Farafa. Farafa, uh, cross pass to Dano. Dano going far side cross pass to uh, Cakester there. Cakester with a man in front. Oh, trying to juke around, but White Fox able to pick that one up. Send it immediately out into the chaos. Who's going to so get there? Best... What a pick. Clears it out. What a pick. So White Fox with possession at the ceiling, trying to get this defense out of position, get an advantageous spot, but throwing that wide pass and able to get it, but missing it is chaos. Chaos is in a flurry. They're trying to get these plays and with another stun out in the bubble coming into the hands of chaos. They're trying to make these things happen there. They're too rushed. They're not getting these clears when they need to, and it's bouncing back into their end. Oh man, just so many stuns between these teams here. As uh, as Curry sends it right, I believe, or Cakes or send it back down in the blue zone. But man, so many stuns around there. A lot of back and forth between the two teams right now. This is this is fun to watch. Devolving into a clear and boost, but it's not looking like they're actually getting the clears as all of them seem to be bouncing back into their end. Oh, and not entirely sure what happened there. There was a goalie in the goal. Uh, and Curry in the hurry. I think Curry, you know, I believe Curry got the save, but he was floating backwards. Uh, and so it does go in. I didn't quite catch who was that Leo the Great who took the uh, the anchor shot there. Uh, but now it is Guinness up by two. So with this soft pass in the backfield, taking their time, maybe trying to learn their lesson from the 
beginning of this round and getting some nice momentum, getting these good passes, but not able to connect with Farafo as he scrambles to retrieve it. And Dim, I think Dimwi's gone, so with possession, sending it to the mid, into the hands of Dano. Dano taking it forward, looking for those cross passes, opting to send it back. I'm here, I'm cruising, saying it was Curry, and I'm wondering, because I was originally going to call the goal to Curry, and I'm wondering if that was a self goal. Uh, I just can't... I can't. But of course, we're not going to dwell on it. Of course, that that can happen to the best of us. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, White Fox over to Leo. Leo, oh my goodness, Leo able to sink that one in off the backboard uh, for three uh, from eight meters out. Twelve, eleven, ten. It does sound like your mic is cutting in and out, but we're glad to have you back. So with the five-zero lead, taking a strong start to the third round. Chaos trying to get this momentum, trying to get this pass through Tube, chasing it down, and able to get it, going for that shot, but the Jolly's right there at the back line to stop it. And uh, Cruzan, your clarification is noted. So now Farafa with the disc in his own bubble under heavy pressure there. Gets that pass off to Kayser. Kayser going right back to the goalie, uh, Curry. But Curry is trying to send that one out, but unfortunate bounce. Kind of coming backwards, but Kayser able to collect that one. Send it down through that left tube area, but very quickly collected by Mojolly. Mojolly doing a really good job here tonight. So with the clear out into the bubble of... Guinness, but not able to collect it, is Chaos. Sending it right back to Kaster. They're on the offensive, but they can't get it forward. Getting the stun out and the missed pass as these teams scramble to get possession. And I do apologize if my mic is going in and out. I'm not sure uh, what would be causing that right now. Everything, as far as I can tell, is good on my end. Well, when it rains, it pours, and getting that clear through the mid is White Fox, and these boosts come out. Orange with the disc. And we'll be collected now by Curry in a hurry. Curry moving down, uh, getting that cross, deep pass, beautiful pass over there to Dano. Dano going good pass, soft pass to Farafa. Farafa moving in, one-on-one -on -one against the goalie. He goes off the, oh, off the back cone there uh, to kind of fake the goalie out a little bit. And a uh, beautiful shot there from Farafa to bring his team within three. That was a great shot from Farafa. Leaving his hand at 18 meters a second. It didn't look like he threw it with that much force. Surprising both me as the caster and the goalie. Great shot from Farafo. I mean, it really was. It really was a great shot from Farafo there. Uh, so now with four minutes left, it's only a three-point game. Mojolly taking a time. Uh, they did have one coming late, so maybe taking that time to let that late man come out. Uh, but now it is White Fox with the disc. White Fox looking over his options. Uh, tries to go for the last second pass to that Green Pigeon. Uh, but the stun appears to have uh, affected the trajectory of that pass. But now that Green Pigeon with it going up. Looking for White Fox on the shield. White Fox able to wrangle it in. Uh, but under pressure. And then that attempted pass uh, to Leo the Great, I believe it was, uh, was interrupted by the stun. Now taken by Dana. Chaos just seeming cursed, not able to get these clears to go where they want to. And Guinness capitalizing off that, maintaining possession. It's headed back downfield. What a pick. And to retrieve it in the tube is Guinness, but losing it to Dano as they throw that clear that does not go through. So with possession, Kaster looking for that cross to the floor and approaching from below goal and getting the reception off the backboard. To dunk it right in at two meters is Dano. Yeah, what a shot there. He comes in, tries to hit it off the backboard, and it bounces. Doesn't take the bounce he was intending, uh, but the bounce he needed as it comes right back into his hands. Uh, and he's able to put that one in uh, for that two off his own rebound. What a great shot there. Another with him, one with only two and a half to go. So with possession and tube, trying to get that cross court pass to White Fox. White Fox. Trying to follow up with another one to Ness, but a little too far behind his player. It will be Leo the Great sending it up to... And getting that pass attempt is Farafo. Farafo taking his time. They know that clears are doomed for them. Trying to look for somebody to pass to and getting stunned out from that stack of Guinness. 
And uh, uh, Chaos doing a really good job of stopping Guinness in their own zone. Their defense has been really solid, uh, but not for nothing. Uh, Guinness has had some really incredible defense here tonight as well. Uh, now under two minutes to go here. Barry, very excited uh, to see how this one's going to play out. So Kester taking his time, still down by one, trying to get that clear. Luckily, it goes forward instead of backwards, but into the hands of Leo. You are cutting out mid-sentence a lot, Sir Dimwi. So Kester with possession going for that shot, and it is wide. Chaos needs this. They need to make something happen. Going for another cross-court back pass is Guinness. Guinness not being punished on that. But throwing that clear into Curry in a hurry's hands. So a disorganized offense from Chaos as they stack on each other. They need to create distance. They need to create something. So Dimwi's not coming back just yet. But Dano taking his time. Kester under pressure. He needs to get rid of it. And he does it. But White Fox losing it. And another lucky break for Chaos. Chaos not able to get it. And these clears, they keep coming back. No one's able to get them through mid. Blue clears it out of there, so. so another bad clear that bounces into mid. Curry in a hurry to receive it into the hands of Kaster. Kaster needing to make something happen. 20 seconds remaining. He has a pass. And able to intercept it is a player of Guinness. Immediately setting it right back out in this scramble from right Fox as he tries to clear it. This stack from Chaos trying to retrieve it, and they do. They've got 10 seconds. They need to get this cross pass. They need to get this pass down, but too far for that player to get. And Mojali, so trusty there in this mound, going into the hands of Guinness. Guinness able to pull off this one-point victory in the third round and win this series. A great game from both teams. Sir Dimwi, are you back yet? Uh, I, I I hope so. I replaced some batteries that weren't giving me uh, any low power signals, but uh, hopefully that'll fix the problem here. But uh, of course, just in time uh, to see the end of the game here. Uh, big big win here for. And he cuts out. So I know that he's going to say it was a great game. We both experienced this great game, and we enjoyed it a lot. A great third round, the double overtime. What what more could you ask for? A great finish to the night. Unfortunately, Denwee's microphone is cutting out, so he can't lead you out for this end of the round, end of the game, and end of the night. Well, it sounds like he's back. Are you back, Denwee? Yeah, it's it's my push to talk. It's not even my microphone. I don't know why it keeps going out. Uh, it's it's worked for me uh, no problems before, but yeah, unfortunate. So go ahead, yeah, you go ahead, take it. Well, with that being said. A great third round, a great game. Good performance from Chaos, just not able to get that last point when they needed it. Mojali always in the back line, playing that trusty defense, getting the clears that they needed, and able to pull off a victory for Guinness. And if I can, uh, hopefully I can, 